if you're working in Premiere and you plan to do all of your edit in Premiere and you have a multi-channel audio file, something like this one here, this one has four different microphone channels on it. So there's a boom mic for the interviewer, boom mic for the interviewee, lav mic for the interviewer, lav mic for the interviewee. Now, of course, we recorded the lavalier mics and the boom mics, so we'd have backup in case one something happened to one, we would have the other one that we could switch to. What we don't want to have happen is this. Here I have two camera angles and I have my audio file. I highlight all of those and put them into a multi-camera source sequence. If I leave this set to adaptive and click OK, that creates my multi-camera source sequence. If I put that in the timeline here, here is the tragedy that happens. All four of those audio channels are put onto a single track. What this means in practical terms, if I adjust the volume, it adjusts the volume of all the individual microphone channels together. You cannot control them separately when you do it this way. You can't mute the ones that you don't want. You can't delete the ones you don't want. It just becomes an absolute nightmare when it comes to editing and to mixing. So what do we want to do instead? What I would do is come to the audio file, right click and choose modify audio channels. Here you want to change this clip channel format to mono. In this case, we have four channels. So we're going to go ahead and select four here. And then we're just going to leave the defaults here. What this does is this says in this source file right here, which has four channels, channel number one is going to be treated as channel one in clip one. Channel number two in the source file is going to be treated as channel number one, clip two, and so on and so forth. Channel one, clip three, channel one, clip four. What this means is that if I click OK, let's do the same thing. Highlight all of these, right click, create multi-camera source sequence. We change this here to mono like we had in the modify dialog box before. Click OK. That creates our new sequence. Drop that over here. Now you can see each of our audio channels are on a separate track. What that means is I can mute the two lavalier tracks if I don't need those, for example, just like that and that. And we now have full control over each audio channel, each microphone, if you will, independent of the others. If you're going to be passing this off to your mixer, your mixer will thank you profoundly. Now, you might be asking yourself, Curtis, you don't edit in Premiere. Why are you doing this? Well, it turns out when I took my new job with Webflow, we edit in Premiere. So I'm having to learn Premiere again. This is one of the things that I tripped on recently in a multicam sequence. Hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. If not, get yourself subscribed and we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.